welcome back to the second quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show. We run it in four quarters, uh, just uh, maybe first time of viewers of the program. And uh, We're only 30-something days from football, so we got to get in that football mode that quarter get, at a time. Boy, that's all you see in the newspaper. and, and That's all they want to see. That's all, that's that, all people that's want right they, now. They want oh, the football. Football is, want is, is the sport. I mean, <laughs> the others are, are watched. Now, I, I like to watch uh, HBO and Showtime. Uh, show some good boxing mm -hmm. on the weekends, mm -hmm. and, and uh, like Tuesday night, I, I, I went all the way till 12 o'clock last night, and I said, you know, I got to get up at <laughs> fi at uh, 5:30. Right. I better get a little bit of sleep because the fight was just getting real good, and I'm, I had to shut it off. I might have started calling you at night and say, look, go to bed, and just like I do with the kids at the house. I say, go to bed, <laughs> yeah, you got go early bed, morning. Got early morning. <laughs> okay, let's get back. All right. More, well, let's sponsors. hit some sponsors let's first. Some sponsors while, first. while we're talking about paddle wheels and steamboats, let's talk about Steamboat Warehouse down in beautiful Washington, Louisiana, get mama away from the smell of her own cooking trough. All that great, fresh Louisiana seafood at the Steamboat Warehouse. Great Angus uh, beef steaks as well. Uh, the ambiance, uh, all your friends go ambiance. good, oh yeah, good crowd of people, the great uh, mixed drinks from the uh, the Bloody Marys with the pickles articles in it to the uh, great wine selection there, uh, whatever type of bourbon you enjoy, they've got that as well. You can sit out and enjoy everything on the beautiful wharf there at Steamboat Warehouse. And let's talk about, how about Targill? You know, <clears throat> when you're eating some of that seasoning, some of that good seasoned food, you probably don't even realize how much of that seasoning comes through Targill. Targill, you know, Opelous is kind of that home of, of seasoning and spice. Um, Targill can do any type of seasoning blends you're looking for. Uh, they've got their own recipes that they can put a package together for you, or they can do your own recipe, packaging those nice shaker cans with whatever logos. They do all the artwork for you if you want to do that as, as a gifts, a family reunion type event. If you're a full-blown business that's looking to do it, if you're a grocery store, a caterer, they can do all that for you. And they've got all the butcher, cutlery, and kitchen supplies you need for all those types of businesses as well. David Link, who has been associated with the company uh, with OPAC mm -hmm. for over 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, the day after he graduated from college, I <laughs> put in the work, mm -hmm. and uh, he's worked ever since, and of course he's worked his way into ownership mm -hmm. of the OPAC uh, company, the, the loan portion of the company. And uh, the first thing he did, I noticed, was uh, get some... Uh, so Targo seasoning it. with we, the OPAC we logo. It. We had a shaker can we on here two weeks ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, he uh, saw the, the advantages and heard of the advantages. And uh, uh, my partner for many, many years, Barry Mitchell, uh, has ordered several different times. And he uses these to for his sales agents on the road to give... Uh, as a around the holiday season, uh, like a little gift, mm -hmm. something that they can use. And uh, these ladies and guys uh, in these offices are waiting for it the following year. You got it. Targill. Back to photos in Natchez, Mississippi. And this was a, a, a high school at one time around the corner, directly around the corner from uh, my little house, and uh, it's been converted into senior citizen apartments, as I understand. And uh, this is a, a home, another home. We, yeah, all of these house. are. are uh, beautiful homes. Uh, just look at that. I mean, just gorgeous. Just, Shadow Cottage. Yep. Um, and a lot, what a lot of people had, they had the huge plantation homes outside the city, and they'd keep a little townhouse in the city, so when they'd come on weekends, they'd come to get supplies, they'd come to maybe mass, so, socialize. church, socialize. socialize. There was a lot of socializing yeah. on a high degree. I mean, dressed up in the fanciest sure. clothes that New York uh, sold. And this is the burn, which I've spent quite a few nights at the burn bed and breakfast in Natchez. Really nice place. North Union. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm uh, still cruising through houses here houses. for those of you on the radio. And then here is the Natchez Children's Home, which is the old orphanage there that was started in 1816. That touched me because my daddy came from New York City, an orphanage in New York City, New York Foundling Home, and came down to Plaisance, Louisiana. Thank God he did. Still there for today. Me. Beautiful and, house. And a, and a beautiful home, and they take good care of it, and it's still very active, I'm told. And, and uh, this is my this is a neighbor of mine. That on the left is my house, my uh -huh. little house in Natchez, 407 B Street, and this is directly across the street from my little house. 
and I didn't take a picture of mine. I've shown it before. Right. And this is the King's picture Tavern. of King's Tavern. Just one or two shots I have there. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very old, and they're keeping it rustic mm -hmm. looking. They put, they did put up a new little fence up front. And uh, this uh, is going to take us just a minute here. On the left is Miss Jean Farah, and she says, "Would you happen to know my first cousin that uh, lives in Opelousas?" So I said, "Who is it?" She says. Uh, Edward Moise. I said, oh, Dr. <laughs> Ed go. Moise. She said, you know him? I said, we graduated from high school together. And uh, we got into a big conversation at that point. And Was she, she tall as Ed? Uh, oh, no, she's a little short lady. <laughs> and then uh, the lady in the middle uh, is Miss Catherine Ming, a, a well-known uh, family that was uh, in, into that area many, many years ago, mm -hmm. founding <laughs> family members, as I understand. And the, the young man on the right is uh, Peter Trosclair, who I just mentioned. His sister was Regina. And uh, he owns Biscuits and Blues and does a real good job. And if you're ever in the Natchez area and you run into a, a situation or you've got a questions about something, call Peter or go by and visit. Mm -hmm. uh, he is more than He's generous with his time. That's a good. That's a good description. I think so. Generous of your time, and uh, enjoy that. And then, uh, after, oh, this is Friday afternoon. They were getting ready to go to the big event that was taking place that night. I uh, have uh, mm -hmm. right here what they call it, right over right. here. There you Natchez are. Food and Wine Festival. There you go. And on the right is Joy uh, Doucette oh, and yeah. his uh, wife, Miss Bridget. And next to Miss Bridget is Debbie and uh, Don Johnson. Originally from the Opelousas area, worked for Mr. McCormick. Boy, they, they, oh, yeah. they, well, they well describe it, Mr. McCormick. Right. He was our friend. And uh, he now works for one of the I think it's a nephew of Mr. Randolph McCormick in Lake Charles. So he stayed in the glass business. Right. And uh, the next night, of course, uh, I, I mustn't forget that uh, Joy and Bridget celebrated their 35th uh, wedding wow. anniversary Monday. Come on. But so that's what they were in. A child, she was a child broad. Uh -huh. you see Mm -hmm. And uh, they were in Natchez. They go there two or three times a year. They love the the. I don't know. Just Such a you, nice city. You sit oh, back. Yeah. I don't know. You 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 get back into kind of a old Southern lifestyle. You don't that, have to get in a hurry. About. No, not in a hurry. Take your time and enjoy yourself. And uh, then after mass mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon. Well, let me keep cruising through with the photos. Okay, I guess that, I got that's, the Ely brothers. That, uh, remembering them with the blues. Yep, that's some signage. You're all around town they have they, they're really doing a great job of, mm -hmm. of marketing look the river uh, how nice yep that's that, Vidalia on the other Vidalia side you're looking down side. down off the bluff down to Vidalia there's convention center and their convention center mm -hmm. has brought tourism like it's I mean it's look something to see every that, weekend every week all the way from New Orleans they got Drago's, Drago's seafood came restaurant came in for this food and festival and they're famous for Charles Broad oysters Acme and look the oyster smoke. was there also I didn't see him but uh, Mike Rodriguez my longtime oh, yeah, friend sure. is the owner of Acme look at boy they smoking Charles Broad and those oysters oh, and they were lined up where's Ju Man. Julie and uh, David Link oh they like to go there the they, when they go to New Orleans I can tell you the first thing they look into is what time they're going to set to get the Dragos. To, to get the Dragos, oh, yeah. and that's in the Hilton. The, that's the one. I think they have another one. Oh, there's a new bike. This wow. is the... This bike was parked uh, uh, in, at the entrance of the Grand Hotel, uh -huh. where I was staying prior to having my own lodging now. But this is a, a limit, limited edition. If I'd have seen this before I spent the money on my little, I, I think I would have looked at this. Look, look it's at good looking. Heights. Look at that big it's wide It's completely tire, different. <laughs> it's a Can-Am. Three-wheeler with the two tires in the front and the front. the back. That's that mm -hmm. Can-Am mm -hmm. uh, Can right. uh, design. And uh, these people people I think are from Tennessee 
and uh, and very I, nice. And I see then, the gardener went by your house and cleaned up. Bobby Dupre is the oh, gardener oh, on the little blue oh. house, right? And uh, <laughs> I worked uh, my little tail off, and I was waiting for my little man to come. And uh, it looked like he must have been watching me from overhead, because as soon as I raked it all up, mm -hmm. then he came. But anyhow, you thank you, Robert, for helping me. And, and the uh, pig out in. Pig out in, and got a little story here. This reminds me of the pigs all around Winfield, Louisiana. Oh, yeah, we have the big festival. But have the big festival. And a lot of the firms in Winfield leave them out, just like this particular place. There's the and Piggly Wiggly there's logo. There's the Piggly that's Wiggly. A, well, that's an old sign, That's too. an old sign inside God of that. I had walked out. I had gotten to my car, and I said, wait a while here, Bobby. Mm -hmm. You're passing up some good opportunity, and I'm... Um, good morning, Kevin good, Doucette. Good, good morning, Joey, and the whole crowd over there. That's correct. At Piggly Wiggly, I had to take that and uh, uh, and of course uh, this is uh, Saturday night after mass mm -hmm. um, I met uh, Joy and uh, Don and the wives uh, after mass and I said let's can I take you all to dinner they said nope we already have plans to go to Root, Route, Route 61. 61 and they spell it, it's not Root, it's Root, R-O-U-X. And they're grilling oysters And they're there. grilling oysters there. They just set up that and uh, we had about a one hour wait, but uh, that uh, it time flies because you're passing a good time with friends. And these are some friends and uh, I have the, the, her, the name of the, uh, the young couple here mm -hmm. somewhere, as I, I, I'll get to it in a minute, but uh, Kevin is the is the hus is her husband, mm -hmm. and Kevin is the. Uh, there's another picture of all of us uh, in the front. That's Kevin that's right Kevin there in the in middle. The middle. Mm -hmm. He is the Gallo State. Uh, Director of Sales. Gallo is in Gallo, Gallo Wines. wines. <laughs> Gallo Wines. And he was there promoting the wines of Gallo, which, you know, they... they and that's his wife and I kids. Think that's wife and one child and a guest. And a friend. Kid, <laughs> gotta have a friend. Gotta have a friend. They don't go by themselves. They, you have to bring a friend. And uh, this is the young lady, uh, is one of the owners. She and her husband and her brother-in-law own this Rue 61. 61. Real sweet little lady. Uh, wish we'd have had more time. Time, but it was getting kind of late, and that's oh, oh, it's yeah. beautiful. No, they and had they two, the crew. two deputy sheriffs moving the cars. I mean, to let couldn't them get in find, and, out. and they have a big, big parking lot, and it's right. not big enough. No kid. No, Good. we had to park on the side of the road, and that's the picture. Oh, uh, the whole group. That's that's the picture of the group with the owner. Yep, yep, and uh, that's cut. We cutting up right here. I don't know who was. Then know. they talked me into going under the hill. We used to go there. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you went there, you got to go under the hill. You had to go under just the hill. Correct. And I had not done that in a couple of years. And when I saw this man, I said, Kenny Mars is here. <laughs> and God no, like it's Kenny not Mars. Kenny Mars. This is uh, <laughs> the mayor of Under the Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think his last name is Thompson. Right. Uh, but uh, regardless, he is a they, short, short. He's that's him they, singing in the background. Kind of hard to see. He is dark, standing on a table, uh, not, <laughs> yeah. not a table, a chair. And he's still not very and, tall. And he's still not very tall, and everybody <laughs> loves that little man. When I say love him, then we got a picture with he and Joy. Oh, yeah. Look at here. Oh, yeah. Couldn't take, no, I wanted one with him, but he wouldn't, he, he went to so sit many. down. No, he, 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 <laughs> he pr prices. Now, this is the storage building uh, that I'm going to park my motorcycle in. Oh, yeah, we got to bike the ride yep, when you I already that. have it uh, secured. I already have a security uh, device uh, on uh -huh. it uh, w w with my security panel. On old and Friday. this is my brand new uh, new Neighbor. friend, Mr. Ken Portal. And uh, he is a neighbor of mine, and uh, you see the sign? What Old does it Fry say? Old Fry Lane. Old Fry Lane. It's, uh -huh. it's a dead, then it says dead end. Correct. Uh, it passes on the side of our house, his house and my house, mm -hmm. and it, it dead in, so no, no problem. Uh, Ken is a real nice guy. Thank you for coming over and introducing yourself, Ken. Very hospitable. One minute break. We'll be back and have more photos, this time from the Red River.